I'm going to show you how to adjust the power on, on your rifle. You need to keep it below 12 foot pounds with any commercially available pellet. So it's your responsibility to make sure it's below the legal limit. If it's not, you run the risk of going to prison and almost definitely having your rifle seized and destroyed. So it's really not worth setting the power over the limit. And it's um, something you need to keep an eye on because like any mechanical part, it wears, it beds in, things change, temperature can have, a, have an effect on some guns. So it's best to chronograph your gun regularly and make sure that you stay on the right side of the law. Generally, with regulated PCPs, you want to, in 177, you want to use a heavy pellet, something like the Bisley Magnum or the JSB heavies, which are around 10.3, 10.4 grain. That will give you probably the highest muzzle energy in 177 in a regulated gun. And if it's a 2.2, you would probably be best with something like an Air Arms Field 16 grain, or again, Air Arms. Uh, sorry, the JSB exact uh, jumbos, which are 15.9 grain. Um, and another warning, with pellets it's always best to weigh some because the the weight often on the tin or that you might find on the internet is just an average and it may not actually be the weight that is in the tin. So it's always worth checking with a, with a set of decent scales. This particular R10 has a stick-on cap which covers the power adjuster and the easiest way to remove this is remove the action from the stock um, there are other videos showing you how to do that and then below the bolt there's a a cap it's a round cap and it basically this particular one is stuck on the easiest way I find is if you use a Stanley knife blade and you put it in the in the little gap between the cap and the metal and make sure it's lined up nicely and press down gently you should be able to separate them but it does vary from gun to gun uh, you know regarding how much glue has been put on by BSA when they assemble them there we go that one's cracked um, and there we go that's the cover off then inside you will see a circular bit with a, a spring tensioner on it which is basically a round thing that that's, um, th works in the threads within the, the barrel that holds the spring. Now to reduce the power you would put a, I've, I've made this little tool up but you could use a, a large bladed flat screwdriver or a butter knife or anything suitable really to to do this. To reduce the power I would say reduce it sort of quarter turn at a time and then put the cap back on or hold your thumb over it while you chronograph your rifle and I would say fire off a good 10 pellets just to make sure that the regulator settled and the gun's back to where it should be um, and keep doing that until you get to the power that you want. I would recommend around 10.4, 10.5 foot pounds using the heavy pellets in the 177 and the 16 grain pellets in 22. Once you get to a power you're happy with then it's a good idea to put some sort of sealer or something on the on the cap and also a drop of Loctite on the adjuster so that it doesn't move when you're firing and then stick the cap back on and put it back in the stock and then chronograph your rifle again to make sure that it's legal. I'm going to show you how to adjust the power on your Ultra. This is a very old Ultra. It's um, The newer ones are slightly different but if you have an old Ultra the power adjuster will be as follows. First of all you need a Stanley blade or something similar which you can then put in between the cap on the back below the pellet probe and the tube and push it down and lever off the cap which is normally stuck on 
then you'll find that you are left with a a part with a, a grub screw inside it and to adjust the power you need to use a 3mm allen key and clockwise will increase the power and anti-clockwise will decrease the power and please follow the warnings in this video.